A man accused of sexually abusing a three-year-old is now accused of sexually abusing 14 children. 28-year-old Jacob Hazlitt charged with first-degree criminal sexual conduct with a minor after police say surveillance video showed Hazlitt sexually abusing a three-year-old boy while at a church in North Charleston. And now the church and Hazlitt are being sued. News to Deanne Roberts breaks down that lawsuit and tells us what experts say you should do in the event your child is a victim of sexual abuse. A hazy situation becoming clear after surveillance video caught 28-year-old Jacob Hazlitt allegedly sexually abusing a three-year-old boy while his parents worshipped at New Spring Church in North Charleston. Hazlitt volunteered as a daycare provider at New Spring Church. North Charleston police say Sunday, November 25th, while watching over a group of three to five year olds, Hazlitt escorted the victim into the bathroom, took pictures of a three year old boy, and sexually abused him. We went to the church and we started asking questions. Attorney Joshua Slavin is representing a mother and father of another alleged victim who say their child was also sexually abused by Hazlitt in September. They're now suing Hazlitt in the church. The lawsuit accusing Hazlitt of sexually abusing 14 children in the last 90 days after Slavin says he saw the instances on video. The evidence was there on their video cameras, their security cameras, that are monitored live as, as they're being recorded. And they just, it was under their nose and they just missed it. We don't know how long this was going on. There could be countless victims. So his message. We've got to do better. You had the chance to protect these children. The evidence was right there. This was happening right under your nose. We've got to do better. Slavin says his clients noticed changes in their child's behavior after the alleged abuse took place. Beverly Hutchinson with Dean Norton Child Advocacy Center says there are clear signs of abuse you can see in children. Maybe all of a sudden they used to love to go play this sport and now they adamantly don't want to do that anymore. When we see these changes, it doesn't mean that there's been abuse, but it does mean there probably should be a follow-up conversation. If their gut tells them that something is off or something is wrong, we encourage parents to trust that gut feel. Currently, Hazlitt is charged with one count of sexual conduct with a minor. More charges may be pending. According to the lawsuit, a month before Hazlitt began volunteering at the church, the former youth pastor was arrested and charged for soliciting sex with a minor and exploitation of a minor. The attorney I spoke to today believes there may be more victims accusing Hazlitt of sexual abuse. If you believe your child may be a victim, go ahead and visit our website, counton2.com, to see how you can get help. Live in studio tonight, Deanne Roberts, Count On 2.